in this video, I will go a little bit old school. I will focus on the short forehand serve. I mean, this serve is out of my comfort zone, you can say. I would, in almost any cases, recommend to do the low backhand serve. But I know that some of you might prefer this shot. And um, I will give my go at it, do my best. I haven't been practicing this since I was a beginner, a small child. So uh, I will do my best and let, um, let's see where it goes. And maybe you can use some of my tips in, uh, in this low serve. So when you look at all the players in the television, can you name one player using this forehand serve in the men's singles? Well, I can, and that is Jenny Jørgensen. Uh, I haven't talked to him about why he prefers this serve, but he still do it. He must like it much better than the low backhand serve, so it can still be used at top level. Well, most of the players use the backhand serve, as I said, I would also go for that. But if you want to do the, the low serve, let's go through some of these uh, technical things going on and um, what might be an advantage in this low serve as well. First thing here I want to mention is how to hold the shuttle. Uh, this is the wrong way, in, uh, in my opinion, so try to hold it with uh, more fingers in this position so it's easier for you to control what you're doing with it to change the angle and, and these small things going on. And the grip is a neutral forehand grip, the basic grip with loose fingers. That, uh, that would be my take on it. And um, the start position would be your arms out, so you have some space to do the rotation in your upper body. So don't be too narrow, too tight up in here to try to do the low serve. Be a little bit relaxed in your arms. Have your arms out in front of you to have some space to do the smooth shot as it is. Then comes the body rotation. So instead of only using your arms, you rotate your upper body and your hips just a little bit while you do the swing, while you rotate your arm as well. So it's a full body rotation, a smooth body rotation you use in this shot. Okay, so now it's time to actually hit the shuttle. And when we hit it, we want to hit it straight on with a little bit of an angle going um, upwards, you can say. So you slice it a little bit under. So when I hit it, I hit it with this position, my racket a little bit under the shuttle, slicing it just a little bit. If we slice too much, the shuttle will go like this. It will be too much of a spin. So let's try to hit it now using all these different elements. Go back, smooth, relaxed arm, rotate forward, hit it straight on the angle a little bit under, and then we did a great serve. So when you master this, what you can do now is you can add some power just in the end. And uh, the power is in your fingers and also the forearm rotation in, in your arm and we want to do the flick serve, the flick version. So you show our opponents, you are very relaxed, and just in the end, you do the flick serve. You also see Janu Jansen uh, do that a lot. And the advantage here is that it's more easy for you to get all the right height and all the right length in this shot uh, compared to the backhand shot. But let me just show you, it goes like this. Rotate, relax. In the end, you do the flick, do the finger power, and then it goes all the way down to the baseline, making the flick surf.
So another thing you can do in this forehand serve, that is to show your opponents that you, you are doing a high serve, relaxed high serve, but just in the end, you stop your movement, relax your body, do the low serve, as we just talked about, and then you will have fooled your opponent just a little bit to get them a little bit out of balance to do the low serve instead of the high serve. It will look something like this that I want to show my high serve, I stop my movement, do the low serve, and maybe get them out of balance. Okay, so now I have also tried this. Um, it has been so many years since I've done this and I can still feel that I am more comfortable doing the low backhand serve. Uh, I actually still feel that I, I did a proper serve here, but um, hopefully you will do better. Remember to choose what you fit uh, best, what you like the best in these serves. Try the forehand, try the backhand and see what suits you the best. But this was my take on the forehand serve. Jenny Jansen style, if you can say that. So give it a go and um, thanks for tuning in and I will uh, see you soon again in our next tutorial. See you.